Hello, I'm Ramia Faraj, and today I'm visiting Asiad Group, Oman's integrated logistics powerhouse connecting the MENA region to the world. As a $4 billion global contender and the fourth largest logistics group in the region, Asiad is attracting customers and investors keen on leveraging Oman's state-of-the-art logistics facilities and manufacturing capabilities. In less than a decade, Estiad has grown into a top regional player with a world-class integrated logistics ecosystem, not just in the MENA region, but internationally. How did you manage this exponential growth and what are your ambitions for the future? Well, that was hard work. Uh, I think the, 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 the basic thing we've done, the first thing is building a strategy for Estiad. Um, and also envisaging what's gonna, you know, what the you know, what the sector would look like uh, in the future. Although that was difficult, especially we didn't expect COVID, we didn't expect the geopolitics issues. But um, we focus on the customer. So we look at the customer, what the customer wants. The customer wants reliability, wants cost, wants uh, time as well. You know, to deliver the, the the goods the right time, and they want a single window. They don't want to deal with multiple facets of uh, of the logistics. You know, as you probably know, supply chain is fragmented. Uh, uh, so we built, we, we focus on that and we built our strategy based on that integration of all the assets together we have, you know, the shipping, the, the ports, the free zones, the inland logistics, air freight, last mile delivery, so forth. So we focus on integrating that. But that was hard work because it's a culture change, it's a paradigm shift. So we, we, we crafted a chain management program, which we started in 2017 until now making sure that all our assets are integrated, focusing on the customer, delivering the right value to our customer. So I think we built the right foundation to drive our growth story forward. Asiad is one of the top five revenue generators in the MENA logistics scene. What was your strategy to become a top performer in this region? I think there's no secret our commercial agility and our diversified portfolio is a key factor for our success today. But what separates us apart from the competition is the strong embodiment we have of our operating model, offering the integrated logistics services across the group. That embodiment of the operating model, it mirrors our commercial offerings. It goes from the top, linking our guiding principles with the Vision 2040, and it cascades down across all functions within the group. For us, when we look at finance today, it's no longer a bean collector function, it's more of a value creators. We achieve that by re-engineering our balance sheet, by having the right people with the right mindset, and also the right technology, where we can offer our businesses the opportunity to grow in terms of funding, in terms of equity, in terms of cash availability, and the agility in terms of making the decisions and analyzing the data. I think this is what separates our finance function from any other finance function among our competitors. It's the linkage we have and the value creation we add across the group to all of our business units. With ocean shipping accounting for 90% of international trade, how is ASEAD really leveraging its maritime capabilities and its infrastructure in order to bolster the global supply chain and promote Oman's connectivity as a global hub? Well, ASEAD as uh, the global logistic group and the logistic group for Oman itself, it has got uh, bigger pictures, not just only been in the maritime sector. If we just focus on the maritime side of it, here we're talking about uh, a company that owns and operates over 85 ships of different users, as well as uh, operating five ports here within Oman. One of them is this port that we are staying at here. And of course, uh, a state-of-art uh, dockyard, which is also being, as you can see it here in the, in, the, in the background. However, today when we talk about shipping itself, there's the international commodities are very important. And we could feel this whether it's during the pandemic, before and after the pandemic, the requirements for the international has always been increasing. And to do that, we need to have the right people to run the right business, of course. And this is where the ASEAD is strong at. 
So today when we think about Assad, we think about a group that has international best practices, that has ESG amongst its own goals and practices, and also that looks for sustainable growth as well as a sustainable offering in terms of uh, putting it to the market and to the people that benefits from these offerings. ASEAN Group is on its way to become a global logistics force to be reckoned with, optimizing its competitive value proposition and driving economic growth in Oman and beyond, all while affirming the Sultanate's standing as a global logistics hub.